I met Rex at a dinner, a blind date sort of dating agency, and he invited me to stay out here. So I started the book there. Ray Roadley's heartwarming tale is sure to become a best-loved Kiwi novel, found on New Zealand home coffee tables everywhere. Love at the End of the Road is the true story of one woman's journey to self-discovery in the back blocks of New Zealand, with a few hundred farm animals to go with it. I've had emails from people who've said you've made me laugh and you've made me cry. So, you know, I think a good book does those things, makes people feel emotional. In her memoir, Ray writes with humour of the transition from city to rural life and her growing relationship with sheep and beef farmer Rex Roadley. I'm still really scared of big bulls, so Rex think, seems to think that's quite amusing. So if I was a farmer, I would be like a sheep farmer and a wiener farmer. But once they get bigger, no. Unbeknown to Ray, Rex lived in a historical villa, the old family home. The Roadley's 400 hectares of land, which runs down to the sea, is home to Batley House. In its long history, the house has been used as a boarding house, a post office, a general store, and a home for solo parent children. It's sort of multi-layered, so it's about our relationship, but plus the area has had so many interesting things happen and so many interesting people live here. So that's all kind of wound through the book. And the rest, as they say, is history. Ray and Rex fell in love and lived happily ever after. A book that is sure to be a bestseller will warm the heart and give farmers a good laugh at one hectic journalist's transition from city dweller to savvy farmer. Emma Jones, Country 99 TV News.